Chidos Academy. I'm Wachuku Daniel. This afternoon, we'll be discussing naming of coordination compounds. What is coordination compounds? This is a complex whereby a metal atom or ion is bonded with group of neutral molecules or anions. This group of neutral molecules or anions we just talked about can be called ligands. So, look at examples of those uh, coordination compounds and we want to see how we can name it. Let's see how we can name the first one. In the first one, this is called cobalt, bromine, <coughs> ammonia, and uh, sulfate. Now, you notice that this metal atom is inside the complex ion. This is a compound already because it's formed a salt already. So, this cobalt is inside the complex ion. Now, because it is a compound already, it's a salt, you, this cobalt will retain its name. Now, this, this is an anion bromine. This, anytime you see anion, the name must change from, as you see, bromine, it will change to bromo, it will end at O. Then, this is one of the neutral molecules we have, ammonia. Ammonia, water, and some of the neutral molecules. Ammonia, whenever you see it in the complex ion, you call it amine. Then, this is sulfate. Now, before you name a particular coordination compound or complex ion, what you do is that get the oxidation number of the metal atom. Now, let's see how to get it. Since this is a compound already, the, uh, the oxidation number of every compound is zero. So what you now say is, you say, this, you are looking for you, X plus. Now, the oxidation number of bromine is minus one, Oxidation number of every neutral molecule is zero. So plus zero. Then oxidation number of sulfate is minus two. You say is equal to zero. That implies that X is equal to three. It means that oxidation number of this cobalt you are seeing is three. So why naming? Remember that the neutral molecule comes first, then Anion follow, then this uh, uh, metal ion then follow. Now, because this metal is inside the complex and also it forms a compound, a salt, the implication of it is that this co cobalt will take its name as cobalt. Now, see what we name them. We start with this neutral molecule. We say this neutral molecule has five. We say Pent, pent, amine, pent, amine. Then this bromine is an anion. We say pentamine, bromo, bromo. Then this is cobalt. We say cobalt. Now the oxidation number of that cobalt is three. Cobalt three. That three must be a Roman numeral. Then sulfate. Sulfate. See the spelling. Sulfate. You are done. Hope you understood it. Now, look at the second one. This second one is a cationic complex ion because it has plus here. Now, in that second one, you will see that it has ion. Then it has hydroxyl, hydroxyl group, and it has water. Remember, an, uh, neutral molecule comes first, followed by anion, followed by the metal. Now, first of all, get the oxidation number of this. This is for question number one, for two. To get the oxidation number of this, call this ion that you are looking for the oxidation number as X. The oxidation number of hydroxy, remember hydroxy is a polyatomic anion. As bronze is polyatomic anion with valency of minus one. So it means the oxidation number will be minus one. 
Then, this is another neutral molecule that its oxidation number is always zero. Then, you now say plus zero equals to it has a valency of two plus two. That means that your X is equal to three. It means that the oxidation number of this ion is three. You have it in mind as you name it. Name the neutral molecule first, we say pent. I mean pent aqua. This is water. Water is called aqua. In naming pent aqua. Now this is a, uh, an anion. So you say hydrozo, hydrozo. Then this is an ion. So hydrozo ion. It will take its name. Then ion three ion because it forms a cationic ion then the third question i i i what to name it this is another compound much complex than the previous two we saw it has two neutral molecules ammonia and water and it also has an anion and a metal called cobalt first of all Get the oxidation number of that cobalt. The cobalt is X minus 1. Oxidation number of this minus 1. Then here is uh, 2. Oxidation number of this is minus 1. Then oxidation number of this is 0, 0. Then this is minus 1 times 2. Minus 2 equals to 0. It implies that S equals to 3. Then the implication of this is that name the neutral molecules first. But this time we have two neutral molecules. Which one should we name first? You will now name according to alphabet. Now to name now, you now say this is called amine. Amine is NH3. Why aqua? Water. Water is called aqua. Now, between amine and aqua, which one comes first? You see A, M, A, Q. A, M comes first before A, Q. So, this amine will come first. So, what you will now say is diamine, diamine, di aqua, di aqua. Then, you now name the, the anion chloro, chloro, cobalt. This cobalt will retain its name because it is in a salt form or it is a compound form. Cobalt trichloride. Then we go to the next question. You can see in this one it is a compound, but this compound contains two complex ions. Now, when you have such scenario, what you now say is that this silver will retain its name. But this second silver will not retain its name. It will be called agentate. It will end at, or it will end with A-T-E. Agentate. And because of that, what will happen now is that you name this first, then followed by this. So you now say, a station number of this silver, because it is a compound but two, made up of two complex ions. Oxidation number of this silver will be one because the balance of silver is one. So what you now say is this is an uh, amine. So you say diamine, diamine, silver one, silver one in parenthesis. Then this one. As a, as a cyano, as a cyano, because it is an anion, it must end with O. Instead of calling it as a cyanide, you call it as a cyano because it is an anion. As a cyano, as a cyano, agentate, agentate one. So that is the naming for this. Then we solve the last one. To solve it, you can see that it contains, this is a compound because there is no valency at the 
that shows the cation or anion, so it's a compound. So this is a platinum, this is bromine. So you have to get the oxidation number of platinum first. How do you get it? You say oxidation number of platinum will become X. Bromine, oxidation number is minus one. Chlorine is minus one. This one, this one is called nitrito. So oxidation number of it is a gap and oxidation number of it is zero. Zero plus zero. Oxidation number of it is zero to zero because every gas, every compound is zero. So this is gas, this is gas, but they are complex to this uh, platinum. So everything equal to zero. S will be giving you two. It means that oxidation number of platinum will be two. Now in naming, this one is amine first. Then bromine follows before chlorine. So bromo, bromo, chloro, then nitrito. Okay, let's name it. We say we say amine. Amine, bromo, chloro, chloro, then nitrito. That is the name of this NO2. If it is NO, you call it nitrosyl. But if it is NO2, you call it nitrito. Nitrito and Platinum 2. You will not put ion because it didn't give you an ion. No valency here. So you don't put ion. So the name is amine bromo chloro. Be confirmed for C. Bromo chloro nitrito and platinum 2. Why did we attack this N? It's because this NO2 you are seeing here. Form ambidentate to this platinum. Ambidentate means that this end can be the point of attachment to this platinum, or this O can be the point of, uh, the point of attachment to this platinum. So if the point of attachment to the platinum is N, you write N. If the point of attachment to this platinum is O, you write O. That is what we mean by ambidentate. So it has many points of attachment to the main metal. So because we want the point of attachment to be N, we now say N. That is, the point of attachment should be on nitrogen. So we now say amine bromochloronitrito N platinum 2. But if the point of attachment is on O, we say amine bromochloronitrito O platinum 2. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video, subscribe and share with your lovers and well-wishers.